What's up ladies and gentlemen, today I am making a video that I should have made a long time ago and this is like such a key concept to lucid dreaming but I just haven't made a video about it for some reason, no idea why. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and talk about it now and that is dream journals. Okay, now I'm going to explain why you should keep a dream journal, the best ways of doing it and like a few little tips that I've sort of learned over the years, a few little things you can use that will make your life easier, make it more effective and at the end of the day give you more lucid dreams and let you remember more dreams, regardless of whether they're lucid or not, okay? Now, before I start, um, I should explain that, like I say in almost every video now, uh, ev everybody does dream every night, okay? Um, so the question is, how many remember their dreams, which is not that many? Um, you know, if you ask the average person if they remember their dreams, um, they're, they're gonna say yeah maybe sometimes like maybe they'll remember little snippets of the dream or little things that happened but it won't be like every single night for most people at least that they remember details about all of the dreams they had uh, and the main reason for this is that people don't practice it they don't write their dreams down uh, and they don't really want or need to um, so you know it's uh, just one of those things but for you guys people who want to learn how to lucid dream people who want to improve their mind who want to you know do all of that cool stuff, you kind of need to write your dreams down. Um, now, this is this doesn't have to be difficult. Um, you literally just need a notepad, a notepad, notepad, <laughs> uh, or like some sort of way of recording the dreams. You can use an app on your phone. You can use a voice recorder. Um, I like to use a pen and paper notepad simply because it's just it feels more authentic and it, it kind of feels a bit special as well. It feels like some sort of secret dream journal thing that you, it kind of adds a bit of magic to the whole experience but you know you can you can do it in anything you can write it on your laptop if you want um, so this I don't want to make this such a long video that you guys get bored <laughs> um, so I might split this into several parts this is just going to be the, the first part uh, which just explains like why you need to write your dreams down and how to start okay so the main reason you need to write them down is because if you don't write them down you won't be able to look back at them later Okay, so you won't be able to like, identify dream signs, recurring themes in your dream that will help you become lucid in the future. You won't be able to see um, what things help you become lucid. Okay, this is one of the little tricks I'm going to get into in a later part of this series. Um, because there are little things like, for example, just writing down the technique you used next to the dream journal entry means that you can, over time, you can see like, oh, well, that technique worked for me, that one didn't so much, this one gave me a couple of lucid dreams, but they weren't really that stable. Do you see what I mean? You can kind of get a better understanding of uh, what works for you. So, yeah, but anyway, that's a, that's in a later video. So for this one, um, just get yourself a little, like, something like this. You're probably wondering what I've been looking at down there on the desk. <laughs> uh, just a simple notepad like this, okay? Or if you want to just go all out, you can get, like, a big, more detailed one with even little tab sections for months, whatever you want to do, okay? The idea is just get something that you can keep by your bed and write your dreams down. And you need to write them down every single morning, okay? So the first thing you do when you wake up, um, actually there's a few things you should do, but you know, for this purposes of this video, the first thing you do when you wake up uh, should be to write down immediately everything you remember about that night's dreams, okay? So all of the details. Try and start with, what I like to do is um, write like a framework. So if you remember like key locations and key dream scenes, write those down as like subheadings almost, and then so that, that way you won't forget the main important parts of it and then you can like fill in the details later on as you sort of go back through it. Uh, if you try and like write all of the details of one dream first then you know you might miss you might forget the other ones okay you might forget the details of the other ones and it just becomes like a bit of a a bit of a blur really. So try and try and have some sort of framework so well yeah like like, like I just said write down the subheadings write down the details later. Now this might be difficult when you first start Okay, because as uh, most people find, um, if you don't practice some, you know, if you don't write your dreams down anyway, then when you start doing it, it's going to be a bit tricky. Like, you're going to have to practice it. Okay, and what you'll probably find is during the first week or two, uh, you don't remember much about your dreams at all, especially if you're a beginner and if you're new. Uh, if you've never done this before, or if you've only done it a few times, you will find it difficult to remember your dreams because it's not something that you've been practicing. Okay, this is, this is perfectly normal. You just need to just keep going, just keep keep doing it. And what's really important is to make sure that you always write in the diary, okay? Even if you can't remember any dreams, it doesn't matter. Just write down, like, no dreams recalled or uh, no, I, I couldn't remember any dreams, okay? 
And the reason that's important is because you're training your mind to at least try and remember the dreams, okay? And over time, this will, eventually your mind will turn around and say, hang on, we're going to have to write something in the diary in the morning anyway. We should probably remember the dreams. And like on a subconscious level, you start paying more attention and remembering parts of the dream. Okay, so write something down. Uh, if it helps, draw pictures, draw little notes. And yeah, over the next few weeks, uh, I'm going to be releasing like different parts of this series. And we're going to get into the advanced tips later. Uh, when we talk about dream signs, highlighting themes, topic modeling, and like different layers of lucidity, different techniques and like connecting them all. And then I'm going to go into using like a digital dream diary and how you can use it to like cross-reference things and search and have themes and all of that cool stuff. So if you would like to see that, please make sure you subscribe um, and I'll see you in the next video.